Okay, uh, well, uh, I did not expect to, uh, be making another video this shortly after the last one, but Chuck Fletcher apparently is, uh, doing the off-season trading speed run, so I'm just gonna go into this. The Flyers traded Jake Voracek to the Columbus Blue Jackets for Cam Atkinson. So Jake is going back to the, uh, Blue Jackets after 10 years of service with the Flyers, and I'll say it right now. I really like this trade, and this is coming from someone who's always liked Jake Voracek, but I feel like even those people who really like Jake, including myself, had to realize that he's overpaid for the services that he provides. He's a really good player, but his contract is saying that he's a great player, and he just isn't on that level. As much as good as he is and how as much positive he brings to this team... I feel like he, he's overpaid, and getting that contract off the board and bringing in Cam Atkinson from the Blue Jackets, who is pretty much at this point in his career, is just as good of a player as Jake Voracek, and he makes around $3 million less per year than Jake does. So I think this is a really smart move for Chuck Fletcher. I feel like Flyers fans like myself are going to really like Cam Atkinson, He's much more of a two-way player than Jake is. Not to say that Jake was completely awful on the defensive side of the puck, but he's never he's not gonna win a Selkie anytime soon. But Cam Atkinson is a much more overall, much more solid player than Jake is, and he makes three million dollars per year less. And I'm gonna appreciate Jake for the time for the time he spent here, the ten years he spent here. But I feel like at this point, getting his contract off the board and replacing him with someone who's pretty much exactly on his level, and if not, maybe even a slight little bit even better than him, and they're both roughly the same age, and Kim Atkinson makes $3 million per year less. I think this is a really smart move for Chuck Fletcher. Uh, I know Columbus is trying to rebuild, and maybe, who knows, maybe they try to flip Jake for someone else so they can continue this path of rebuilding, but... From the Flyers' perspective, as much as I appreciate Jake's time here, I do like this trade, and I can't wait to see what Cam Atkinson does in a Flyers uniform. I feel like a lot of people are going to like him around here. So, that's so. in a matter of a week, the Flyers shipped out Phil Myers, Nolan Patrick, Robert Haig, uh, Shane Gothisbear, and Jake Vorjek, and will they bring in Ryan Ellis... Ross Ristolainen, and Cam Atkinson. And here's the thing. I don't think we're done. I don't think Chuck Fletcher is done in the slightest. I know they got to take care of some of their RFAs, like uh, Sandheim and, and Hart, but I see them going, trying to sign someone. I'm not saying, oh, we're going to sign Tarasenko, but I, I do see that Chuck Fletcher trying to make a serious move to do that. They also got to sign a backup goalie because I don't see them bringing uh, Brian Elliott back for another year. So this offseason seems like it's it's in full force, and I'll, I don't see Chuck Fletcher stopping anytime soon. So those are my thoughts on this Jake Voracek, Cam Atkinson trade. Really like it. Appreciate Jake's time here, but I feel like this is a fresh start for this team, getting that contract off the book. And I feel like Cam Atkinson is a quality player that should really help this team a lot and bring them a more of a dimensions to this game that than Jake did. So those are my thoughts on this trade.